Hey everybody, Kane here, and welcome to another video of Art of Conquest. In this one, we are going to talk about hero research. So, I have mentioned in one of the previous videos that I have swapped from my mages and necromancers into mechanists and rogues. There are a lot of nuances as to why. We're going to talk a little bit about that. So, first things first. Whenever I had my mages and necromancers maxed research, I tried very hard making a defense formation for ultimate clash, but to no avail. I was being put to like a rank 100, 120. I think one time I got kicked out to like 160 or something, and I was never able to make a proper formation. Even if I try like three, four different formations, and one of the reasons being as to the only hero that is able to do damage is not casting abilities. And after the patch on, I think, Tuesday, for some people it was Monday, uh, the Avril stopped casting abilities. He was always focusing other heroes, even if Avril was not stunned and she had her abilities up. So that kind of messed up the defense in Ultimate Clash, that even weaker people were able to counter Avril, and if you don't have Rogues and Drac, it was pretty much game over. Like, you would be knocked down or uh, down in ranking, like, uh, I don't even know how to call it, but pretty far down, okay? And, uh, yeah, that is what happened. So I have decided, well, maybe I'm going to mess around or maybe troll around. And I swapped my mages and necromancers to mechanists and rogues. Now, the most surprising thing is that I don't think that I've lost a lot of damage from my, say, Avril in terms of what DPS it was doing. And yes, that is kind of surprising. So the thing what I... <sighs> thing is happening is that maybe some of these effects are either not as powerful or they don't necessarily work on the passive bonuses of say other abilities and they could in theory be working on just damage that these heroes do from their own abilities now again i have not you know tested all of that and stuff like that because it's like 20 day cooldowns. It's incredibly hard to just, you know, keep swapping them and stuff like that. But it seemed that my Avril is still doing damage as she did before. Maybe a tiny bit less, but that depends on circumstances. I mean, I don't think I've even lost that much, right? However, however, now that I've swapped into rogues, most of my stuff up until tier 12 was done. So what I added was I've added, say, crit chance, crit damage, accuracy. I've added 50% attack speed for one second after they score a crit hit. As you know, Drac has a lot of scalings. He has a lot of attack speed. He can even raise his own crit and stuff like that. So essentially this likely procs almost all the time. So I got that as well on him. We got uh, some might, and then we got something which I think is pretty powerful, which is reducing healing efficacy by 60% and deals additional 20% damage to enemies under its effect. Now, the thing about most of the heroes is that their basic attack is not single target. It's usually a sort of an area-based attack. Like, for example, if you have Nora, when she shoots, like, seven cannonballs or, or whatever she shoots, it's like an AoE with an AoE. Like, she shoots seven cannonballs, but every single cannonball hits uh, multiple targets, right? So, in terms of drag, his spear focuses a few targets at the same time. Now, if that hits heroes like Balrog, perhaps, it's going to have a pretty huge effect because it's going to just remove huge amounts of healing and it's going to help you kill Balrog regardless whether or not you have these, say, huge bonuses and stuff like that. 
in burst versus burst i don't seem to have lost that much damage either because of a couple of um say nuances so as i've showcased before I have a particular build on my drag i don't think many people are using but i'm still using it so what happens is drag regardless of what happens whether he takes damage or not he is going to be doing damage he's going to be proccing those spears those spears are going to be proccing the area damage and that damage is pretty huge right like that damage is really pretty huge so even though i sacrificed a portion of damage from my avril drag is always pulling his weight in terms of a fire and even carrying it in a lot of the circumstances so in terms of research i also don't necessarily know which one or which ones were like really powerful in terms of making that hero really perform a lot better but i would assume it was the tier 18 because I think this one is pretty powerful. And then, of course, you have the tier 15 increasing attack speed. So the more drag attacks, the more spears land. The more spears land, the more area damage. The more area damage, the more chances he lands a crit and does more damage. And all of those things just go in a cycle. So, yeah, it is a, a pretty, pretty decent change. That One that I'm not really sad about honestly surprised me how much damage drag was able to do and my drag is not really that powerful like i think i have level 11 prism on him let's just quickly check again so i have warlike level 11 i have the hourglass the the somewhat proper set i would say i have like almost 1.1 million attack the hp is pretty good is able to sustain some damage in terms of abilities this is what i focus so what's happening is i wanted to get this because this i do believe sometimes can do a decent amount of damage to gladiators in terms of like a single uh, target attack or even one pop dragons but uh i don't know it's debatable like from what i've seen in some fights on another uh account uh, um, i guess higher gameplay account in terms of dual tower which is like almost top 100 pvp this hero is able to pop dragons not like 100 to zero but at the very beginning if you don't have draconic 50 protection like this spear landing near a dragon just instantly knocks to invincibility so this hero you know for a fact that it is incredibly powerful like the the further you go the more he scales i guess because i don't even know man like his abilities just go into hundreds of attack damage percentages it goes to like two thousand percent of attacks and i don't even know man like this hero is just broken good thing he doesn't have cast abilities otherwise he would be the new avril but even then he's like a mini avril that you don't require to cast abilities on so with that change and the hourglass and no people being able to stun him reliably i was able to get into top 50 but uh, I did something unintentionally that uh, happened to me last week. So basically, as you can see, I am ranked 37. So I have attacked this person when he was in a fight with another guy. So he won, and after that, I won. And what happened is um, his ranking changed to 37 while I was still 64. So he went down to 64 right so that like something like this happening is actually horrible right like it's horrible because it's i mean it's would tilt people a hundred percent i don't even know like how you can change it maybe if somebody's attacked his ranking would not be able to be changed but then even that could be abused 
uh, with alts and stuff like that if you have higher cores like you could just go to i don't know rank one and ask people to keep attacking you so i don't even know if there is a fix for that but that sort of thing is kind of tilting to whichever person happens like i can i cannot really say that you know um it serves them right because it happened to me too but i mean it, it's not good if it's not good that these things happen so in terms of defenses as you can see i won a defense i lost one but i think it was close no yeah it was pretty close then i won one uh i lost against these guys i've shown before and again if i did not change my uh hero research to rogues i likely would have lost most of these and now as you can see i've won a couple i've lost against one then i've uh sorry i've lost against a couple then i've won against a couple i lost against this one i do believe i beat him back right after yeah i beat him back to um to his uh ranking he didn't attack me before and at one point i won like eight or nine defenses as you can see like it just pile on after i've swapped the rogue research and was messing about with the formation so it's actually quite interesting to be honest right because i also placed armory in terms of buffing drag by the way so yeah that is what i kind of noticed let's see if there is a close fight to show in terms of defense because i have not really checked any of them to be honest i mean that one was kind of close i think this one is close so let's inspect this i have turned off the graphics by the way so i do apologize that it's still gonna be a tiny bit laggy uh i think but let's see so i have drag on my burst i made it so he would be able to run straight to the burst side proccing the spears on of course the the main targets that my burst would be damaging so what happens is he's landing spears near heroes like even this hero gets hit by the area blast of the spear so 10 seconds in one hero dies i think i killed a paladin or a gladiator here another hero died by drag then we have a couple here i think uh, I'm, I'm not even sure if drag killed them but as you can see i mean drag is just doing insane right like this is pretty much just drag doing this damage it, i don't think even avril casted any abilities yet i think now avril casted an ability because you've seen the stun there but yeah that that is what is happening like drag is just popping off like no tomorrow right so that was a pretty decent change that kind of is keeping me somewhat easily in the top 100 in some cases i'm even able to push top 50 in terms of ultimate clash so yeah hopefully um you kind of learned something new you might want to try it out a little bit and see whether or not it is good for you but that really depends guys because i cannot really predict whether or not it's going to work in your formation whether or not it will work at your particular time it's really hard to say okay it's really hard to say drag is a hero that can easily pop off but you kind of need to invest into stuff to to buff him while also having enough buffs and debuffs to make sure that your avril is still able to do a considerable amount of damage <clears throat> and still be able to kill some heroes so my avril is able to do that and me over buffing drag just makes me have another insane dps on the field as well so yeah hopefully you found it useful hopefully you learned something new if you did do hit that subscribe button it would help me out a lot so as if you would wish to support me more than just watching my videos, I have made a Patreon page where you would be able to do just that. In return, I would be able to help you out more individually in terms of events, PvP, formations, and stuff like that. As well as I would like to thank all of my patrons for the support. I really, really appreciate it for your subscriptions. Thank you guys so much.
Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe out there.